having these full on, literally back back and forth yeah. online competitive games. Yeah. And I would be dripping with sweat. I once put like a headband on. Do you know, like one of those like tennis headbands? Yeah. I was all in in the in the in the living room. One was like, "You all right?" So I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a cup of tea? Not right now! <laughs> Hello and welcome once again to the In The Lobby podcast here at Guild. We have got a very special guest. It's very rare that you come on this podcast, so I feel privileged and honoured. I love it when, when TN gets to come on the podcast. Well, you look too kind to me. Because you are, you are a guest, but also n- you're not a guest in some ways. he's part of the tapestry of Guild, isn't he? Exactly. You know, he is. Look at that face. That is Guild right there. Oh. And I feel like I don't really get to find out what TN's doing unless we do these podcasts. <laughs> Why, do you not talk and to him? We see no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> T, how are you? I'm blessed, man. Can't complain. You know, life's good. Um, other than the weather right now. But, you oh know. Oh, my God. Yeah. So bad, right? Dude, yeah. I don't get it. Because the past, like, it's we've had two days of, like, really Sunshine. nice weather. I was and the next day, it's it? like, bam, rain, yeah, yeah. clouds, sense, depression. It's so it is sad. weird, isn't it? That we just, you know, we don't just leave the country and go somewhere else. Like, I know it's hard, yeah, because of work and stuff. But I do look at the I do look at these warmer countries, and I think I get why people go. I'm done. Oh, with, I'm done yeah. with this now. Yeah, yeah. Because it does affect like, when you wake up in the morning and you look out. If the sun's shining, you're like, "Let's go!" Oh, I yeah. had the best Genuinely. day when the sun was shining the other day. It doesn't even have to be warm. It doesn't. No, as long as the sun is out, it's I nice. I just don't want to get. I just don't want to get soaked when I go out. That is yeah. it, man. Just put the bins out. All I just want to see some sunshine when I go outside. You know what <laughs> I mean? I don't want to see grey skies. <laughs> I don't either. England fix up, man. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, but you actually were somewhere a little bit warmer. Oh, you were mate. somewhere nicer recently. Yes. Something big happened in your life. Oh, mate, yes. Can we get a little brief TN update on the life changes? Oh, uh, yeah. So in March, I went to Dubai. Um, and yeah, man, that place is everything you think about, like Dubai being, it's that and more. Like, it's just so perfect. Weather's perfect. Like, people are so nice. People are so friendly. Everything was just so smooth. Do you know what I mean? And then... Yeah. Yeah, it was just it was just an amazing experience just being out there because you're like, it's like you know when you like leave your comfort zone and you're like, oh wow, like this is it's weird but it's amazing. So you're learning, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're learning yeah, yeah. something new. That's how I felt when I was out there. Yeah, Dubai was absolutely amazing, and um, yeah, I went out there with my girlfriend at the time, and obviously I got oh, you engaged. Broke up. <laughs> <laughs> you got a girlfriend at the time. <laughs> Sorry, I killed the podcast. It. <laughs> but now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she's my fiance. We're engaged and yeah, yes, working sir. towards a wedding. So well done. Ooh. Lots. Thank of, you. Thank you. Thank lots you. of planning and not just for your content. Yes, <laughs> a lot of planning. Yeah, a lot of planning. it's a lot of work, right? Yeah, you don't realize until like you do it yourself. Like yeah. you see people do it and they're always like, "Oh, it's so stressful." You're like, "I can't be that bad." <laughs> do it yourself. You're like, "Yeah, they it's were right." Bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so aside from those lovely things happening in your life, mm-hmm. let's talk about the other things going on. We talk about football playing? first, really quickly. Yeesh. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah, actually, let's because I did. If we're going to talk about <coughs> Arsenal, are we can talk about. We're going to talk about Arsenal. Do you know we what? Are. I was just doing what day? What day was it? Sunday? Was it Sunday? Yes. The game? Yeah. yeah. So in the morning, I go into my kitchen. I just do tidy up and I put the radio on. And mm. I feel like it's such a, a boomer thing to put the radio on <laughs> these days, you know. But I do like to listen to the I radio. Love I love, especially football on the radio is just yeah, brilliant. And I never, I never watch football really, but they were like only 10 minutes to go until Arsenal versus Tottenham. And yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, you know what? I never watch football, but that's got me a little bit hyped. So yeah. I was like, go upstairs, get myself a nice cup of tea. And I watched the football for the first time. Because oh, nice. at my core, I guess I'm an Arsenal fan, but I've never really, whoop, whoop, whoop. I, I've never really supported like, any team in particular, I've just always brought up to be an Arsenal fan. Yeah. But I do love Son. So when Son was taking his penalty, I was like, come on, Son, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, you've got this. He is great, Son. Is um, he but is. yes, yes, let's talk, I'll let you two more knowledgeable people talk about no, but the game. I think what's really cool about that is, I think there are certain games, like, you know, obviously you get your World Cups and you get your Euros and all yeah. that good stuff. And then like FA Cup finals, which we'll get to in a minute with you. Mm-hmm. But like, North London derby, it just, it just does hit different. Yeah. It's got a different feeling to it. Yeah. Especially when there's a lot on the line. Yeah. And I mean, I'm from the north of England, if you can't tell from my accent. But for some reason, I grew up as a Tottenham Hotspur <laughs> fan. I haven't been as much uh, as of late. I've sort of fell out of love with the game, but I jumped back on it. I made a big deal out of this game. I wanted mm. to be part of it all. Yeah. And then after, like, you know, the first half, I didn't want to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, I was like, oh, why, I remember why I stopped. I get it now. Um, I'm not going to relapse again. But for Arsenal right now, it's looking good, top of the league. Yeah, I just man. wanted to. Just make something really clear before I give you the mic, Don't and that, that is that you're going to bottle it. And, uh, <laughs> you're going to bottle it. Wow. Second place finish at, at best. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. How are you feeling about Arsenal? Ah, uh, mate. All right, so I have this analogy, right? Um, and I think all my gamers will understand this. Or like just people that are quite quite old and played like PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, right? So this is my analogy, yeah. Do you know, do you remember like when you had like a scratch disc, mm-hmm. yeah. right? And like you used to do everything. You did the toothpaste, you did the little like- <laughs> Toothpaste? What were you yeah, doing? The, do you know, no, the toothpaste the method. Toothpaste yeah, there's game. like a toothpaste method you put on your disc. What did it like, do? You wipe it you off. You wipe it off and Maybe then it, it like fills the hole or something. Yeah, like I don't know how it, it used to work though. I swear down. Really? It used to work. Yeah, yeah, it was sick. I'm going to put Colgate on GTA <laughs> when I get on. Colgate on GTA. <laughs> Honestly, if your game's not working, try it. But there were so many methods, right? So I did all of that. And then you know like when you, you put it in, you close it, you turn it on and then you look away. I don't know why. It's like you look away because you think it might work if you look away. Yes. Do you remember? So yeah, like yeah, you look yeah. away and you hear zoom, like the PlayStation thing comes up and you're like, it's working. Yeah. That's how I feel about Arsenal right now. You look away from the screen. I'm, I'm looking away like, oh, I don't care if we win the league. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but if we win the league, I'm going to the parade. Bro, that I, reminds me. That's I'm brilliant. going to be there. That reminds me. It's like, this was a trick that I had when I went to Vegas. Gamble responsibly, guys. <laughs> but when I, I put, I'd gone roulette, right? Yeah. And I would just look away. Yeah. And then I'd turn back and if I had more chips, I'm like, yes. Yeah, and, I, exactly. and I had this crazy night where I just kept looking away <laughs> and the chips kept on stacking, baby. I don't know what was going on. But it's a I'm method. That, it. It's a proven method. It okay. is. Okay. It is. So that's, that's how I feel about Arsenal right now. Like if we, if we bottle it, like I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't really care anyway. Because, which is a lie. Yeah, that yeah. Is a lie. down, you Like did. if we win the league... Or should I say when we win the league, then yeah, I'm going to that parade, man. I'll be there. You know, what's funny is after, after whenever Arsenal play, whether it's good, bad or ugly, I know that as soon as I open Twitter, there's going to be something from T. <laughs> where like, why do we do this, man? I, like, yeah. <laughs> I was so stressed that day, man. Honestly. Oh, I love football made it happy, so. Even though I don't watch football, I just love seeing people's reactions. Oh, and mate. it's always everyone just saying the same stuff. Oh, it's crazy. It's the f- it's football fans are just uh, built different. Yeah, I know. Right. Um, You've got a football opportunity coming up, right? You've been invited to something special. Yeah, I got invited to the Women's FA Cup final. So I, you know, I wouldn't pin myself as like a football fan. However, when there's a big final or a big competition or the Euros or the World Cup, I love it. I love getting involved. I love cheering on a team. Um, So yeah, I was very lucky to get invited to the the Women's FA Cup final, which is happening in like two weeks. Oh man, So it's come up very quickly. But I'm sure it's going to be... I mean, Callum's a Man U fan, so I feel like I'm going to have to support Man U. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really awesome. We're going to get to go, get to bring him as well, which is great because... I'm sure he's absolutely reveling in the uh, the thought that we've got tickets to the Women's FA Cup final, which is nice. fantastic. That's, that's it. Cup final, and it's going to get me in the yeah. mood for the rest of the football that's happening. What is happening this year? We've got is it the is it the uh, what wh- when is the World Cup? When that's is the World Cup? World Cup's 2026. Euros yeah. is this Euros year. Euros is this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I always get them mixed up. So Euros is this year, which is going to be very exciting as well. So it's going to get me in the mood for that. We, we've done this before. We used to have a fo- we've had several football shows yeah, you and I yeah. over, over the years, but. Does the things like the Euros impact your content creation? Yeah, stuff? absolutely. Um, yeah. I'm planning, literally as we speak, I'm planning, trying to plan loads of like Euros videos or videos around the Euros, whether it be on like FIFA or whether it be like in real life. Yeah. So it's just, yeah, it definitely impacts um, the way we look at the game and how we try and make things more creative going forward. So yeah, I, I can't wait for the Euros, me personally, man. I think it's going to be sick. Starts. 15th of June. I think I've got like two videos planned as well. Yeah. So it's just about, yeah, just really trying to make use of that time. Obviously, World Cup 2022, a lot of people went out to um, Qatar. Uh-huh. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go out there, but That'd my goal is to be, to go to World Cup 2026. That's my goal. Let's go. That's, that's a good, that's my goal. I'll be goal. there mm-hmm. for whatever reason. I, I'll be there. I don't know if you remember the last Euros, guys, but uh, was it the last one we got beat by Italy? Yeah. In the, the final? final. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man. That was horrible. It was tough. Do you want yeah. a fun story about that? Mm-hmm. I watched that, sat next to Paul Ince. No way. I don't know who that is. Paul Ince is a legendary England player. Oh. Okay. Um, and because we were doing a show together on the Euros at the time. Yeah. And it was just even, it was even more heartbreaking sitting next to a man who, you know, plays for England. Literally yeah. bled on the shirt. <laughs> that was an iconic <laughs> picture of him with like bandage around his head with yeah. the English shirt on. Legend. But yeah, um, that wasn't meant to be a mic drop, not a name drop or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Clang. Sure. <laughs> But yeah, that'll be fun because people. It's not just because the football fans, obviously, the community for it in FIFA, uh, sorry, FC, and yeah. just general football fans is massive anyway. But then yeah. it gets even bigger. bigger it becomes yeah. a nationwide, well, European wide, global 
you know, phenomenon when it comes yeah. to a, a, a tournament like that, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, naturally, it's going to be all the hype. Do you know what I mean? And people love, because normally when the season ends, there's like a little bit of limbo. Yeah. And people are like, oh, I don't really know what to watch, what to do. So like the Euros coming in is going to be huge. Obviously, you've got like teams like France that want redemption for like the World Cup. You've also got like England who look crazy strong right now. You feeling good about England? I do, you know, yeah. but I just think we've got a lot of players... And I don't know how they're going to fit them all in. Like, how do you fit in Bellingham, Foden, Saka, Palmer? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Southgate's got a headache. Yeah. That's his problem. Who are you putting up top? Sorry, we will get off football. But no, I, got, put- I quite enjoy it, actually. I who are you like putting it. up top? Harry Kane. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a no-brainer. Serious? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. got to be. Do you know what I mean? I mean, he, I really wanted to win Champions League as well, but that's yeah. that's another topic. Um, Harry Kane What's up happened front. to you, bro? You used the, oh. oh, he's left Tottenham now. Yeah, so okay, I can actually like, do you know what I mean? I actually, I can <laughs> now is it Bayern? You're cool feel, with him. Yeah, I can feel okay. good about him. Okay. Um, and then, I don't know what they do after that, to be honest. Saka on the right, maybe. I don't know who they put on the left. Um, Bellingham, yeah, Rice. you've got to start Bellingham. Bellingham, Rice. Uh, May, I'd say Maynu, but he's still very young, so I yeah. don't know. And then maybe like Maguire, Stones, Walker. Who plays left back? Can't believe what I mean. Maybe Luke Shaw. I don't can't know. believe Walker's still doing it. He's still killing it, man. He's still killing Can it. Can I ask a really it. newbie football question? Go for it. Do players have a certain foot that they play with necessarily? Yeah. Yeah. So like being left-handed or right-handed. Yeah. And does that determine what side of the pitch you play on? Um, I don't think it determines it, but it's, it's like preference. So like if so I'm... So they would prefer to play on like the left or right, yeah. essentially. So if I'm like right-footed, I might prefer to play on the left because I can... <laughs> Cut inside, right? Okay, score, and vice okay. versa. That's so it kind of works that way. Never really yeah. considered that. My dad, I, I used to always have arguments with my dad because he'd be like, I don't know, someone amazing like Jermaine Defoe or something <laughs> like that back in the day, um, who was predominantly right footed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like my dad, be like, why don't you choose his left foot? Use his <laughs> left foot. And I was like, Dad, if you're that good with your right, who cares about your left? <laughs> if I'm if I'm uh, uh, playing at that level, I'm just I'm just focusing on one foot. Yeah, because I am I'm well. left-handed, right? But I I'm Jeez, pretty sure. I could only kick a football with my right foot. Oh, my foot. left's yeah. awful. That's what I mean. I'm literally this. Like, oh, you're left-handed? Yeah, I'm left-handed, so, but, but I'm right-footed. Oh, okay. So it's like... What? Yeah, I'm literally like a cross. It gives you good balance. Yeah, I mean, it does, but yeah. You ever scored with your left foot? Yeah, I've loads of goals. From far out, though, or what? Nah. Um, nah. Like you get any power <laughs> behind it on your left or not? Nah, it's just swinging hope. Yeah, That's yeah, literally yeah. Literally You've got some left foot tappings, yeah, have you? Yeah. <laughs> left foot tappings. Left foot tappings I can do. But from like 25 yards, it's just right and hope. Yeah, has to be right foot. Uh, so apart from watching football, have you been yeah. playing any new games recently? Any I different have, games? I have. What, what was it before? It was God of War, right? Yeah. You're obsessed with Did God you of complete War. That? Yeah. yeah, I finished it. Yeah, okay. It so what have we moved on to now? It's a complete change to God okay. of War. I'm playing Topspin. Oh, I've heard about Topspin. Top, I tell think. me about Topspin. Topspin. Tennis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Topspin 2K25 just came out and I got given a code. And I, I didn't really think anything of it at the time. I was like, oh yeah, tennis is pretty cool. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Started playing it. I was like, oh, this is, yeah. this is proper. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm doing the backhand, the forehand, the lobs. And I'm like, this is like, it's I really, really good. Go, no, you, know? you should. It's really good. So it's yeah. t- 2K, right? So it's licensed. Yeah. So it's got all the, has it got all the famous players? Yeah, so Serena's on there. On there yeah. Federer, Murray, um, Alcarez, Djokovic. Everyone's on there. Nadal. Yeah, Nadal's on there as well. But the thing that everyone's really hyped about right now is that basically you make your own guy. Okay. And the highest level you can get to is level 30. And you just go, like you do like, some, there's something called a world tour, online world tour. Yeah. So you go online and you kind of just play people, but in oh, like the sick. world tour settings. So like, there's like a ATP 250s tournament right now and there's a Grand Slam. So the Grand Slam is like Roland Garros, but they switch it up every every season. Yeah. So next season could be Wimbledon. Next season could be something else. It might be the Australian Open or something like that. Yeah. So it's just, it's so sick the way they've done it. And obviously you play, you win games and there's like a leaderboard. So everyone wants to try and get on the leaderboard, try and get like top 100 and all that sort of and stuff. Tennis and tennis gets, tennis games mate, for me are so sweaty, man. Heated. <laughs> I get so get sweaty on tennis heated, games. Heated, bro. Like, because I'm not the greatest. Guys are doing like slice returns and yeah. I'm like, I don't know how to deal with this. But yeah. when I do get a point, like I'm shouting like, like I've literally scored a goal. It's, yeah. it's, the feeling is sensational, man. The honestly. worst feeling on tennis games is when you get done with a drop shot and you're back court. Oh, man. And you're just like, oh, how did I not see that coming? The it's only so tennis rough. games I've played has been on like the Switch or the Wii or something. Really? So no, I'm you, sure it's You need to play top spin. <laughs> honestly, it's so I might good. have to give it a go. I remember on the, on the, hey Siri, remind me to download top spin tennis tonight at 7pm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
But like I played this game called Grand Slam Tennis. It was on the Wii, yeah. And it was when the Wii Motion Plus came out. I don't know if you remember that. But oh, you had your no. standard, you had your standard Wii remote. Uh-huh. Then you bought like a finger that went at the bottom that made it even more one to one as a controller. I think I've, I, I, think I, don't, I, I feel like I can visualize that. it, yeah, but I, I don't remember using it. And but it yeah. had online, and I was playing as like Tim Henman or something like that, That's right? So the sick. OG. And I was having these full on, literally back back and forth yeah. online competitive games. Yeah. And I would be dripping with sweat. I once put like a headband on. You know, like one of those like tennis headbands. Yeah. I was all in in the in the in the living room. One was like, "You all right?" So I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want a cup of tea? Not right now. <laughs> I'm just hitting oh, slices and like four arms. It was sick. That was yeah. a great memory in my life. That honestly, Top Spin is so, such a good game. That basically online, it's just it's two games. Um, two games. I think it's three three sets. So if you win. Three, three, three games is a set. So if you yeah. win three games, then obviously that's one set. So it's two, two sets. Something, something along those lines. Don't kill me, tennis fans. I'm still very <laughs> learning. Yeah. learning. So, um, yeah, but it's just so good, bro. And yeah. like you said, like it gets heated, bro. Like some games can last up to like ten minutes. Some games. I've had a game go on for like forty five minutes, bro. Like, and you, you can't go that good. You can't. You, I can't you, switch if you need the off. toilet, yeah, you, you, you're in. I'm locked in, bro. Is I it like FIFA? You, yeah. you, it's not like ten minutes or whatever. This is what I'm saying. Or oh, I could pause the game on FIFA you and could. just go. Over there, if I literally like switch off, the guy's just gonna hit me with like a, an ace, and I'm cooked. Yeah, I'm done. So but no, it it's is, a real it, mood. It's a real mood swinger is. because if you if you're gonna put 45 minutes on the court and yeah. then you lose, and you lose, that's awful. A, that's, a mate, that's you done. That's you done. That's you done <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm I'm cooked, yeah. mate. There's been times as well, like I'm playing, and obviously obviously there's a net in tennis, like everyone knows that, but like it hits the net and it drops, but I'm so far back, so my guy's trying to sprint, he doesn't get there. I lose the point in a tight game and my head's just gone and I just lose the game because I'm like, bro, like, do you know what I mean? Something that's out of my control. I'm traumatized. Like, traumatized. Are you so, playing so as you then, yeah? Yes, yeah, so I've made a character. Yeah. Yeah, and um, he's six foot one. I gave him dreads. Don't, know, don't ask me why. Yeah. I gave him <laughs> nice. locks. Um, and then, yeah. So yeah, I just use him all the time and then, yeah, pretty much good. So have you been making any content on this or have you just purely been playing it for fun? I think right now I'm just playing it for fun. I do want to st- actually make content. Like, I do want to stream it. Like mm-hmm. I really do. I just think it's, it's so I much like fun. You, while, the, yeah. while the hype is there, you might as well. You yeah, know? Do you know what I mean. Like, I it's just, new. Is it doing well so then? Is it, is it popular? Is yeah, it, loads is of it? people love Top Spin right now. Yeah. Obviously, it's new. So is it the first ever Top Spin or what? Is that? No. So there was. I think there was one last year. Right. But prior to that, they had like a fourteen-year hiatus where they just didn't wow. release anything. Right. So obviously they've brought two K twenty. I think it's two K twenty four, and they brought this year's one, and yeah, everyone's just. Loving it, right? Because I've been playing NBA, which yeah. I'm loving. Yeah. Especially with, the, I've been watching the playoffs and and all that. Yeah. Um, but then like tennis as well. That's it. I'm back in. I'm I'm jumping on the tennis train when yeah. I go. Mm-hmm. You need yeah. to, bro. It's so good. Honestly, I don't really like play other online games outside of like my comfort zone. Really, like I do FPS from time to time, but. Tennis ha- it has me hooked. I, I can't yeah. explain it. It's so, so it's competitive good. then. Like you play oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's got like a it's, competitive it's, scene. It is very sweaty. Okay. Very do you know sweaty. what? I, do you know what I love about games like tennis in particular? And it's whether it's in you know in real life or when the reason why it gets so sweaty is because it's just you. Yeah. Yeah. It's all on you. It's all on you. Every man. mistake. Like if I'm on Halo, right, and we get down to we've got one of the teams has got one more elimination to win. Yeah. And one of my teammates gets it. I'm like, yeah, nice one, but it don't feel the same. Yeah. Without every point, every every moment is down mm. to you. It's down to you, bro. It's crazy. Speaking yeah. of Halo, actually, I'm going to a Halo LAN Ooh. in Twick- at Twickenham Stadium. Oh, nice. Yeah. When is that? Random anecdote. Um, I've heard about it. Yeah, it's, the, it's, their champion, it's their championship series, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let me Sick. look at the date. Let me look at the date. It Sick. is the... How cool is that? Having a hill event at Twickenham. Yeah, Twickenham, that's sick. That's eSports, baby. Yeah, man. Can't, Twickenham's can't go wrong cricket. With cricket, cricket yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> and the Master Chief's rocking up onto, onto hey. the world of cricket. That'll be sick, to be fair. Yeah, I bet it'll do well as yeah. well because I think there's a there's a you know there's an appetite for Halo still in the UK. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hearing. God, I did put it on my calendar, but it's not there, so nope. I need to find out. <laughs> Make sure you put that in. Is. I'm hearing rumblings that Gears of War Six. Oh, I'm hearing rumours that Gears of War 6 is getting announced soon. Don't do this. So basically, with Gears 6, Tennis, Zelda, I'm not going to have a life anymore. I'm not my girlfriend's going to leave me. I'm not it's leaving my weird. house. It's weird. There's some some weeks you feel like there is just nothing to play. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just it, everything, everything comes out yeah. of the woodwork. So like, there's a new old game that you want to try. And like, there's a new new game coming out. And it's just too much. It's too much. Is your fiancé a gamer, no? Nah, she's not. 
nah. She she doesn't understand why I spend so much time in my office. Yeah. Like she she can't she can't like break break it down. So sometimes I'm working, sometimes I'm just playing game. Yeah. yeah. She can't distinguish between the two. Yeah. So she thinks I'm just always in there like doing nothing basically. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like even I can't <laughs> distinguish when I'm working and when I'm not anymore, to be fair. Like yeah. You're always doing you're always something. Doing something. Yeah. It's like I had this epiphany the other day. I was like, do I get myself a work phone? Or like if you buy yourself a new phone, right? Like I have recently. Yeah. Is that a business expense? And it's only if you can spend a certain amount of time using it as a personal phone and a certain amount of time as a business phone. You have to divvy up the thing. But when I'm scrolling Twitter and I'm interacting with people 11 o'clock at night, midnight, that I'm still working. Of course so you are. Like, when are you yeah. ever like really switching off? Like never. never. Who's... The real Harry anymore? Yeah, I You've don't lost know. touch. I, just, I have no idea. I don't. I guess I don't have a, a personal life anymore. It's just I'm constantly working, which is is fine. But yeah, it makes it really hard to distinguish yeah, when you're you like actually working hard, yeah. or gaming. I get that because especially with you guys as content creators, I guess especially now you know when I game, unless I'm researching for a game that I've got to host a tournament mm. for or something, I'm just doing it purely for pure pleasure. Like mm. I'm not even thinking. Sometimes I get that guilt where I'm like. Uh, this would make good content, wouldn't it? Shall I do anything? Yeah, is it exactly. Yeah. That's the problem, isn't it? Because even when you, if you have like a really fun or, or crazy moment on a game, like on Zelda, sometimes I'm just like, oh god, that'd have been that'd have made a great TikTok or yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Just, even when I'm just gaming with my friends, sometimes I'm like, something funny will happen, and I'll like clip it, and I'll like, do I make that into like a TikTok or something? Yeah. And I'm yeah. just like, oh god, where does it end? Like, <laughs> where does the separation stop? Where you, so you mentioned the Euros, T. Yeah. Where, where you at just in general outside of the Euros for content creation and stuff? Um, to be fair, content creation for me is like going smooth. I think one thing that I've realized in the last maybe last twelve months is that. I can't, or not me personally, but you can't be stagnant in content creation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Constantly have to keep evolving. Yeah. So whereas like maybe like a couple of years prior, I felt stagnant and I was really like, not stressed about it, but I was like, it was, it was bothering me because I was like, I'm not really creating mm -hmm. content that I want to create. I think now I'm at a point where I'm like, I'm trying to really push the envelope and yeah. like create stuff that not only I enjoy making, but people enjoy watching. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm now at that point where like that's the sort of direction that I'm going in. Nice. So obviously I made a YouTube channel last year, um, March. So I think it's, I think I've, it's, I've had it for like maybe 13, 14 months now. Um, it's, we're about to hit like 40K subs. Boom. We've that's done really like 10 good. million views. Boom. That's and, so um, good. Yeah, your YouTube has yeah, really like been It's off. really taken off right now. So it's just about, again, pushing the envelope, creating more um, different things and just... Yeah, really trying to just step it up and just mm. see where we go from there, really. I have always really wanted to have like a 100K subscriber yeah, plaque. That's, 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 that's like well. the goal is that to have is a me. 100K subscriber plaque. And then after that, if I don't get the 500K, <laughs> whatever. But like I need to actually start uploading to get a YouTuber plaque. Yeah. But it's I do like the fact that YouTube have that because it's a really good incentive yeah. to make you want to like put more effort into it. They're good at that, really. Yeah. Aren't they? it's, it's, yeah. it's good because... I saw that you were even like reaching out to grow your team, right? Were you like yeah, looking for an so editor and stuff like that? So. I literally just hired an editor recently. Brilliant. So yeah, it's just obviously it's like a transitional period for me where we're just kind of working on obviously trying to get him to emulate my style yep. whilst mm -hmm. also not imp like impeding on his style, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So I want to try and obviously merge the two, but also want to try and build consistency and yep. Get videos out on a weekly basis, yeah. so it's just there's a lot going on right now behind yeah. the scenes trying to make things work. But I think once once we're both like settled down and he knows what I need and I know what he needs, then yeah, it'll, it'll be click. it'll be plain sailing yeah. from there. Obviously, I, Euros again coming up, so it's exciting. Yeah, Went man. to an event last night, which was it was a Logitech masterclass. But mm. at this event, I got to meet. There was like some talks from different content creators, and one of them was a um, FIFA, I guess, EAFC YouTuber, and he was talking about how you build collabs and stuff. Mm. But I think what I would have really liked to have seen from the event is just, um, I guess, more advice from content creators on what their schedule looks like. So, like, yeah. what is your... You obviously have a schedule for uploading possibly yeah. i don't at the moment i'm trying to build myself a schedule where i upload like three shorts a week and yeah. then i'm going to try and do one long form every two weeks mm. so what is your schedule like at the moment and how do you put time aside mm. for like filming and stuff for mm. your youtube videos so right now my schedule i think on a great week i'd mm. upload on friday yeah friday or saturday just because my audience is like 10 year olds yeah. like young children so it's like kids are coming out of school yeah. what's the first thing they do go on YouTube mm -hmm. whereas like on a Monday no one's thinking about watching yeah, videos yeah. so Friday or Saturday and Friday if it's Friday I upload I upload at 3 mm -hmm. 
if it's Saturday, I upload at 12, so like 12 okay. p.m. midday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how mm-hmm. I work it. And then in terms of recording, I try and, if I, when I was doing everything myself, I was recording, so let's say I'd record maybe Monday mm-hmm. or Sunday, and then I'd spend the week editing to get the video out on Friday. Whereas now, I kind of have to record maybe Thursday, Friday, the f- previous week, mm-hmm. work on the edit over the weekend to get it to my editor for Monday. Right, so, so then you do like the base it. edit yourself. Yeah, and then he, he adds the bells and whistles. Stuff. Yeah, so yeah, I literally yeah. work on the storyline. So once I'm happy with how the story looks, mm-hmm. and I basically just cut it up, add any voiceovers, and once I'm happy with how the story looks, hand it over to him, okay, so you got good and system. he adds the magic yeah. to it. Do you know you what I mean? So that's, that's, that's the best way for me, for me yeah. to say I do and it. And that's yeah. a long form that you upload yeah. on. Okay, do you do any like short form content? So right now, not right now, I did one on i can't remember a couple months ago Mm -hmm. but i think for a peak month for me i really want to do one a week long form Mm -hmm. so that's four over the course of the month and then one short yeah just so it just obviously shorts help push the envelope again and keep you growing so you know on a peak month that's my goal to Mm -hmm. sort of work with but yeah easier said than done and in terms of streaming are you doing any streaming at the moment um not really i streamed Nah, not really. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I was talking to someone yesterday who's a, another big content creator in the space, but they make more um, content catered towards tips to help streamers and stuff like that. And yeah. I was telling him, I, I, my aim is to stream five days a week, five hours a day, yeah. and also upload three shorts a week, one long form every two weeks. And he yeah. was like, that's ridiculous. Like, you're not going to have the time to put that yeah. effort and quality is a lot, yeah. into your other work. Because you don't really grow on Twitch. Like, you don't have yeah. people find your stream as much as you would if it was TikTok or YouTube yeah. Shorts or something like that. So, ideally, although it's so hard for me to cut back after almost seven years of live streaming on Twitch, yeah. I need to dedicate maybe like three days, four hours a day to streaming and then that extra time. Extra time. What yeah. is your current making quality content? Sh- streaming schedule. Like, do you, do you go live moment, at a certain time? or is I it try to go live around like 11, but it, at the moment it's a bit all over the place. I've been really trying to get to the gym in the mm. morning. So I'm trying to do four days a week at the gym, which I go to before I stream. And then I try to stream for five hours a day. Yeah. At the moment I'm doing four days a week because usually we'll come here and we'll make content for a day yeah. Yeah. Um, of the week or whatever, or I've got a different event to go to. So at the moment, gym, come home, five hours of streaming yeah. and then after that i'll like get together all the clips yeah. of the day send them off to my editor do that he'll edit i upload then i make dinner do <laughs> dishes do yeah, the laundry that's a lot. Yeah. i think for, for me when i was doing all of that like when i was streaming and then trying to do youtube videos i would like burn out because i don't know about you but once i finish streaming I feel like this wave of oh tiredness. My oh my it, God. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Like it's you can ha- go from having so much energy, you turn the camera on the lights off and you sat there you're and you're just like, yeah. I can't move. It's a then. unique beast. Like, yeah, that, it is, it is. Being so switched on for five hours and having to constantly keep people entertained and then you turn everything off and you're just like, sat there oh, like a skeleton. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's insane. It's crazy. So doing that on top of your shorts, I, I understand why it would be difficult. Yeah, yeah. And like Tough. going back to what you said about obviously growing on Twitch. I don't know I don't know if it was you or if I heard it from Disguise Toast or somebody. They said the best way to grow on Twitch is to not be on Twitch. Yeah. Like yeah. like if you, you gotta grow everywhere else mm-hmm. and then bring it to Twitch, yeah. which is like which makes sense, I guess. Like yeah. that's, that's understandable. Since honestly since streaming on TikTok and getting viewers on there, my concurrent viewership on Twitch has gone up by a hundred concurrent viewers in Jesus. like a month of streaming yeah. on TikTok, which is huge. I was averaging like maybe 350 before and now I average 500 concurrent on yeah. Twitch when I go live. That's great. So posting on other stuff really does work yeah. and I just need to put it in my mind. I need to spend less time just being on Twitch all the time because yeah. it doesn't really help anything. It doesn't help necessarily monetarily wise. Yeah. It doesn't help you have time and energy to dedicate into other avenues. Yeah which I think is really taking off. Like the more time goes on, yeah. it's taking off more, but 100%. yeah. What's the one pillar from both of you here? If, if I, don't, I know we've done this before, but like, mm-hmm. let's say we've got somebody who's watching right now is thinking, you know what? I just want to get into this whole content creation mm-hmm. side of things. What's the one pillar of advice? Is it consistency? Is it I think having now a, a vision? You have to genuinely make quality content that oh, people yeah. like and they want to keep coming back to. Like, you can't just put subpar effort in anymore. Like, yeah. shorts content and long form content has just got to a point where there's so many people doing it. There's so many people making such high quality, 
quality content that you genuinely need to make things well edited and funny or you need mm -hmm. to have a really unique idea you need to have like a storyline or a reason that people keep coming back to you specifically um you need to make yourself a personality that people want to keep yeah. visiting essentially which is so hard to do if you're just so saturated now, isn't yeah. it? yeah it's so, so dark, saturated so yeah um, what about you t um i mean i could go on forever but um i think Going off Harry's point, I think the best thing that you can do. So, I, I Mr. B said, and I, I genuinely took this in. It's easier to get a million views on one video than it is to get a hundred k on a hundred videos. Mm -hmm. So, with that in mind, you want to make the video that you're making has to be the best possible video that you can make it to be. That doesn't necessarily mean that you need to spend months and months on it because obviously consistency is a thing. Yeah, but Make the video, make it the best you can make it to you personally with the knowledge that you have right now. Post it and just keep doing that. Yep. That's the best thing that you can do. Don't always look for the one that's going to bang. Yeah, don't necessarily look for the one that's going to bang. Obviously, keep being consistent, but make that video the best you can make it. And the video itself isn't just the, what's inside. It's the content, yep. the title, the thumbnail, like all of, all of that stuff ties into it. And that is what gets you the click essentially. So yeah, that's, that's my, I find it fascinating because like I've seen the, the evolution watching it and it's like, you know, it's becoming a, a profession. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've got to be so aware of what you do and the skills and everything else. It's not just like, Ooh, I've recorded this video myself. I'm going to post it and yeah. see what happens. It's just evolved. Hasn't it so yeah. much? Um, we were talking earlier, uh, just, we were having a bit of a chat in, in, in our lobby about the esports world cup. Yep. That's coming. Yeah. Once again, this summer. Um, well, I say once again, it, it previously it was Gamers 8, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, just pumping so much money and opportunity for gamers into these tournaments that they're hosting every year. Yeah. This time we're calling it the Esports World Cup, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Players from all over the world going there for eight weeks, but for all these different video games, whether it's yeah. Dota, Rainbow Six, Fortnite, Rocket League, Street Fighter, EAFC as well. Mm -hmm. A big opportunity for a lot of these uh, EAFC players yep. and a lot of money on the line as well so yeah. it's, it's great for the uh for that ecosystem in it yeah i mean definitely i think fc pro obviously fc just changed this year so fc pro was really good like yeah. there was a lot of viewers on that. i think they were averaging like 300k like Brilliant. people watching so i think when i did one of the shows it was like 300k no it was, so, that was because you were on it uh, you know? don't do that. you're too kind <laughs> is that bro. 300k with like co-streamers as well all, all mixed in or is that does not that not include the co-streamers i don't think that includes the co-streamers yeah think it's that's big just, numbers that. that's just the like when eafc ea sports went live that's how many people were in the stream brilliant so yeah fc pro has done really really well um obviously dream hack is coming up as well yeah and i think the top two from dream hack go to the esports world cup yeah so yeah, things are looking really, really good for the ecosystem. Obviously, there's a lot of top players right now as well. So it's going to be interesting to see who gets those spots and who actually goes. Because I think Nicholas just won um, La Liga yep. esports. Um, Fuma just won like League One. Obviously, Tex won um, Premier League, E Premier League. So it's like there's so much going on. It'll be interesting to see like how it all works out. And it's good exposure as well. Like everyone watches the eSports World Cup. So yeah. Yeah. it'll be very, very good to see, like for people to actually turn up and yeah. I think yeah. What's, what's crazy about, what I find crazy about this eSports World Cup stuff is you've got these eight weeks, but it, because it's so many different games and so many different titles and players coming from everywhere, there's like a lot of history been made. Yeah. In the, in the space in of such a short yeah. amount of time. Like championships won, millionaires made, yeah. like all this crazy stuff happening in the space of, you know, two months. It's crazy. I feel like, yeah, the timelines are going to be filled with c constant, like, esports World Cup content. So I'm very excited for that. It's going to be, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah. It's going to be a good summer. It is. It's going to be, it's it's gonna be a hot is, summer. Yeah. You've got it the Euros, <laughs> the esports World I'm Cup. I'm really looking forward to this summer, actually. Yeah, it actually should be good. Booked some festivals, booked some concerts and stuff. Got EA. Oh, EA, Esports World Cup. Yeah. Mm. And then well, the Euros. TM, you will need to book a holiday or something because it's going to be a rough summer for you when Arsenal bottle it. it, it just <laughs> Don't do it. this, man. Don't so do like, this. Maybe go to Dubai or something, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'm playing. I actually want Arsenal to do it this time. We, I think we will, bro. Yeah. I think we will. But like I said, I'm looking away. Looking yeah, away. Looking away. You looking don't away. pay attention. Right. Are we doing a survival mode? Because what is... 
What was the last game you played? Top spin. Well, <laughs> it is the thing. That's why I was saying we're going to do it because. All right. Okay. Let's put you in the position of you are a tennis ball. No, ten- I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one, actually. You're a tennis ball. That would be a rough Hiding one. Hiding from getting hit. Um, yeah, you're a pro, a yeah. tennis player in All your right. field against other people equally as good as you. Oh, uh, yeah. How are you performing? I'm cooked, man. Okay. <laughs> I've got no chance. You ever played tennis? Yeah, I, like, play, I play casually, yeah. like, sometimes, but, like, I can't do, I can't surf properly. Yeah. So, yeah, like, when I throw it, it doesn't, I don't hit, like, I hit it like that. Yeah. I don't, like, when you see when, like, when you watch, like, Andy Murray and that, they're like, yeah, I don't. I don't do that. Yeah. I'm just like, up, oh, chuck. Do you is know what the, I mean? You want You obviously you throw it, the ball up in the air. Yeah, and then do, are you trying to like hit it down onto the ground of the opposing so, team? So if you're on the right hand side of the court, back court, yeah. you have to serve it across the net to yeah. the yeah. opposite side oh. and land in there. Yeah, like, like so it has to go like diagonal. Thing. Yeah, right. But there's like yeah. two boxes, so you mm-hmm. want to hit. If you're like here, you want to hit it in the first box. Yep. You got to go across into the first box. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's a fault. Right. And that's why they used to call me Ian Double Fault Chamber. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be very rare that I would even get it over the net. Um, because I, I don't know about you, but you, especially after, if you just watch Wimbledon, yeah, put your shorts on. Oh, yeah, 100%. On, you go out there, you, you put your little cap on or whatever. And you're thinking, I'm going to save like 100 miles an hour. It's going to rock it. Yeah. Um, literally, if you're anywhere near the opposite vicinity, duck, because I, I'm going to nail it <laughs> as hard as I can and just pray that it lands in. And when it does... Oh. I was like, me. somebody needed to film that, you know? <laughs> so you wouldn't survive is what you're saying. Nah, I'm cooked, man. I'd be zero and 12. Like, I'd lose every game. Oh, well, with some more practice, I'm sure. Yeah, but I don't see happening. Not practice that can really translate to real life tennis, though. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Which is unfortunate. But before we sign off this episode, got anything else coming up that you're excited for? Any thoughts? Mm. Any general advice for maybe people making content out there? Could be anything, Ooh. literally anything. Thoughts? Um, I think I just want to keep, like I said, keep pushing the envelope, creating more content and mm-hmm. just enjoying my enjoying myself a little bit more with yeah. it. I think sometimes we get so stuck in like what other people want to see that we kind of forget that like 100%. we have fun. Like yeah. we did this or we started this because we were mm-hmm. having fun. So I think that's kind of what I want to get back to um, mainly. So yeah, hopefully the next couple of weeks, trying to be a bit more creative with my videos and go from there and yeah i think advice it all starts with the idea so your make sure your idea is brilliant if your idea is brilliant people are going to click anyway mm-hmm. and um yeah i think that's that's it from me really nice. just chill what, I pick- you, do you get invited do you, are you doing like any events or anything because i've been i feel like i've been going to a lot of like random stuff recently and i've been seeing a lot of um i guess like eafc people there and i don't know what the kind of like event scene is like for I keep saying, going to say FIFA, EAFC in general. Mm. Have you got any cool stuff coming up that you're doing live? Events or? wise, no, I don't think so. I mean, if anyone wants to, you know, give me some work, I'm not there complaining. You you know, yeah. Hit me up on the WhatsApp. Hit him up. But, um, get, get him at the World Cup. Yeah, get me at the World Cup. I'm not yeah. complaining. World Championships, anything. <laughs> I'm ready to work. No, but, you um, said you said something a minute ago that I, re- I think is is really important. Yeah. And I think it's not just for content creation. I think it's for anything. Yeah. If if you're ever doubting why you're doing something or you're not enjoying it anymore. Just take your mind back to that place where yeah. why you started, yeah. whatever that is. Whether that's even going to the gym. Yeah, literally. You know, oh, I don't want to do this. Why did I say I wanted to go to the gym? Oh, yeah, because I wanted to better myself or yeah. whatever it is. Mm. And then it takes you back to that place. It's easier said than done, though. Yeah, isn't obviously, it? Yeah. naturally, it's easier said yeah. than done. But yeah. Right, right sweet. Well, T, love having you back much. on. Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks on. for having it's me, man. Great. I had so it's been much good fun. to hear some thoughts about content creation and equally about football as much as i'm not a football person it's, it's still interesting we're gonna to make you into a football person I, do you know what i'm getting there i'm slowly getting there so it's yeah. been fun it's been great um and thank you guys for listening if you've got any feedback please feel free to leave us a comment leave us a five star rating and we'll see you in the next one Bye. and i've never said this before but come on you guys <laughs> <laughs> bye guys